another interesting math session. So children, are you all interested in stories? Yes, I know that you are interested. So today, I am also here to tell you a small story. This story is about a little girl, Ria. This little girl, Ria, is very happy today. You know why she is very happy today? Because she is expecting her cousin to her house today. See, he is her cousin Rahul and he stays in abroad in a foreign country. For vacation, he came to Ria's house. So now, both started playing. Ria is very happy that Rahul came to her house and both started playing. They started playing a business game. So, hope everyone knows what a business game is, children. Yes. Now, when they started playing a business game, they came across a number this way. So, this is the number which they came across. So, Ria started uh, spelling this number as Because she has already learnt in her previous classes that this is a six digit number. So, it can be uh, separated with the commas to separate the periods. 7 is in lakhs period, 49 is in thousands period, 632 in ones period. So, she read the number as 7 lakh 49,632. And she started saying to Rahul that pay me that amount and buy the place. But Rahul was confused. He said, what's the number you are teaching? The number which you are saying is an uh, absurd number. We don't have any such numbers. This number should be read as 749,632. Ria was confused. What is this number which he is telling? He is saying he is reading the number as 749,000. But my teacher said that in thousands place, thousands period we have only two places. How that he, how come he took uh, three places for thousands period? And both started quarreling. She started to say that no, you are telling a wrong number. You don't know how to read a number. And he started saying no, no, my teacher taught me reading in this way. So, so children, whom do you think is uh, telling the correct number? Is Ria telling the correct number or Rahul telling the correct number? Here, both are telling the correct number. Both are correct on their parts because uh, the number system which uh, Ria learned is Indian system because this Indian system is used only in uh, Indian subcontinents that is India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Only we use this system whereas Rahul is from an international place. So, there they don't use the system and there they use international system of place value chart. So, now children, let us learn what that international place value system is, how to read a number given in that system. So, children, there are two types of number systems. One is Indian and the other one is international. Indian system is used only in the Indian subcontinent and remaining all places internationally, international place value chart is used. So here, this is a model of international place value chart. So see here children, here ones, tens and hundreds are in one period similar to our Indian system. Here thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands are in thousands period. So in uh, Indian system we had only two places, thousands and ten thousands in thousands period. Whereas here we have thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand, three places in the thousands period. Next. To that we have million spirit. Unlike our Indian system where we have lakh spirit, here we have million spirit. Millions, 10 millions and 100 millions are in million spirit. So, uh, suppose we want to write a number name of a number in international system. Let us see how to write that. For example, tell me, let me take some digits over here. Like, as we are restricted to 6 digit number, I am taking only a 6 digit number. Now children, this is a number in international system. Now let us see how to write the number name for this. Here, as I said you previously, 
the digits of a period are compiled together into a single number and we read them as a number. So here 3, 2 and 6 which are in thousands period I am compiling them into a single number. So this is becoming 326,000. So this is 326,000. Next 532. So the number name for this is 326,532. Let me write and show you. The number they have given is 326532. Here I am using a comma or a separator to separate the uh, periods. One period is separated with a comma. 3, 2 and 6. 326 is in thousands period. 532 is in one period. So the number name for this is Three hundred twenty six thousand five hundred thirty. Hope you understood how to write a given number in international system. Now let us see how to interpret a number from the spike abacus. See here, how many beads do we have in the one space? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 is the digit in one space. There is no digit in tens place as there are no beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 beads are there in hundreds place. Nothing in thousands place. 2 in 10,000 space and 1 in lakhs place. Now let us read this number. After 100 place, I am putting a comma. After 10,000 place also, I am putting a comma. Now the number is 1,20,706. Now let us see the next problem. We have 1 bead in 1's place and 1 bead in 10,000 place and the remaining places are filled with zeros. Now let us read the number. Here after 100 place I am putting a comma. So this is 10,001. Now let us see the C bit. I have only one bead in 10,000 place. No beads in thousands and hundreds place. Two beads in tens place. One, two, three, four, five beads in ones place. So the number here is read as 10,025. Now let us do the D bit. Here there is only one bit in ten thousands place, nothing in thousands, four in hundreds and the remaining places are zeros. So this number is 10,400. Now the last, so the next one E bit. Here I have one in hundred thousands place. Now what do you observe by this term hundred thousand? That this question is given in international system okay and in thousands place we are having no beads so zero one two three four beads in thousands place one in hundreds no beads in tens place and two in ones place so how to read this number as this is an international system after three places i have placed comma so this is hundred and four thousand and one hundred two now let us see the next number. Here I have 2 in uh, hundreds place, 4 in 10,000s place, nothing in 1000s place, 1 in hundreds place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in 10s place and nothing in 1s place. So this number also is in international system because it is in 100,000s. So this is 240,000. 150. So, in our second sum, they have given hours which a person of a particular age group lived. For example, a 6 year age group person lived this many years. Now tell the number name for these children. Here, this number is a 5 digit number where 52 is in thousand spirit. So, the number name for this is 52,560. Similarly, 
A person of 7 years age group lives up to this many hours. Can you read the number name children? This is 61,320. Okay. Now for this age group 8 years, can you read the number name? Yes, it is 70,080. As we don't have any number in hundreds place. Now for 9 years age group, what is the number name? 78,840. Similarly, tell by yourself children, a person of 10 years age group lived how many years? Yes, it is 87,600. Very good children. So children, now let us see how to write the numeral for a given number name. See here, they have given 17,000. That means 17 is in Thousand spirit. So I am writing 17 here in thousand spirit. Next, 899. This is 899. So I am filling the next places as 899. So the number name became here as 17,899. Now let us see the next one. Here this is given as 21,000. So what they have given here? 21,000. 21 is in thousand spirit. So, I am writing 21 in thousand spirit. The last one, 5. So, 5 is a single digit number comes in ones place. Here, we are left over with these two places. They didn't give, mention anything about those two places. So, I am filling them with zeros. So, the number name here is 21,005. Okay. Let us see the next, the third one. 1 lakh. This means 1 is in lakh place. So, I am filling here 1. Next you have 38,000. This is 38,000. So, 1000 spirit I am writing as 38. Next, 900. 9 is in hundreds place. They have nothing about tens and ones. So, filling them with zeros. Placing commas to separate the periods. Now, next one, debit. 2 lakh. So, write 2 in. 2 in lakh period. So, this is 2. Next, 50,000. So, you have 50 in thousand period. So, I am putting 50 in thousand period. Next, you have 936. 936. A very simple chart. Isn't it? Now, the next one, 251,000. So, uh, read this properly children. 251,000. This is a three digit number. 251 is a three digit number. Three digit number is given here. So, this means this is an international system. So, what they have given here? 251,000. So, I have written the uh, place values according to the international system. So, here it is. 251,432. Now place a comma to separate the periods. So, in the next problem, they have given you a number and they are asking you, this number has how many hundreds? This number has how many ten thousands? How many tens? How many ones? How many lakhs? And so on. So, before going into a number, before going into the problem, let me give you a small example. Suppose I write this number and if I ask you to read it, how will you read it? You will read it as 1200. Very good. But if I ask you how many hundreds are there in this, then what you will do? You will go to the hundreds place and from hundreds place before digits you will take and you will read it as 1200. Isn't it? Similarly, here they are asking you how many hundreds are there in this number. So, go to the hundreds place and from hundreds place take the before digits. So, this is read as 1265 hundreds. Now, next going to 10 thousands. They are asking you this number has how many 10 thousands. Here you have 10 thousands. So, from 10,000 to the before places to go. So, there are only 1 and 2 which is 12. It has 12 10,000s. 
Next, going to tens. Here, we have tens. From tens, go to the before places. Now, what digits you have here? 1, 2, 6, 5 and 0, which is 12,650. Now, they are asking you how many thousands are there in this number. So, what is the answer? 126 thousands are there. Now, when they are asking for ones, the whole number comes, isn't it? From ones to the largest place. Everything, all the number, all the digits will come. So, it is 1,26,504. Then, going to lakhs, see here, how many lakhs are there? Only one. 